In July of 2022, the National Summer Learning Association hosted its first annual National Youth Leadership Institute in Washington, D.C. 50 youth representing summer learning programs from across the country and their chaperones gathered at the nation's capital to learn, lead, and speak with public officials. Uh, it's an institute that's designed to uh, invest in young people and their ability to become the leaders that we know that they're capable of becoming. The Leadership Institute offered a number of activities and experiences. The ones that stand out to me are just the ability that we had to foster relationships through the activities. Um, and with the activities, many of them being nonverbal activities, um, things in which we just had to work as a team, um, accomplishing one goal, I think that for me was um, the most important because it was building a community amongst people that we didn't know prior to this experience. On day one, we have guys running through the auditorium hooting and hollering and going on, and that energy never died. And, you know, I looked at somebody on one day and I was like, you can't tell me these guys don't care. One of the great pieces of the National Youth Leadership Institute were the bonds and relationships the staff and the student leaders were building together each day. And as you watched the program progress, you saw them get closer and closer, build more trust and faith in one another, and build a relationship that they can remember and build upon as they get into the next school year. At the Leadership Institute, I noticed kids basically connecting immediately, which is kind of crazy because you think they're going to be shy for like days and then the last day is when they're going to finally make a connection, but almost immediately is when they form those bonds and those friendships and they're probably going to last them for a good while, hopefully a lifetime and anything. My journey has been very uh, great. I've got to meet a lot of new people from different places. Um, one of the people I've met is from Utah. His name is Noah and he's kind of like my best friend here. My journey at NYLI has been fun because we've been doing activities for three days so far and very fun getting to meet new people and playing games I've never heard of. Um, what it means to be a leader is that you have to be trustworthy, support the people around you, make good decisions in tough situations and be able to take into account what other people say um, in the group that you lead. The most important things from Monday were the icebreakers. Ray and Gabe made the icebreakers more interesting than a normal boring, hi, I'm blank, from blank, but instead got the kids more interested in meeting each other and their teachers. The National Youth Leadership Institute built on its curriculum each day, culminating with all the students taking their leadership skills and their education about the issues and programs they care so much about and taking their message of the importance of after school and summer programs up to Capitol Hill, where they got to meet with their local members of Congress and their staff and tell them how important these programs are to them and their families and their friends, how much they learn and gain from them. And then they had the great honor of going over to the U.S. Department of Education, where they got to meet with Secretary Cardona himself and some of his staff and participate in an event that launched the new Engage Every Student initiative where all kids in America uh, should have the opportunity to benefit from after school and summer programs just like they do. And the National Youth Leadership Institute did this amazing job at being able to like navigate with leaders, dynamic, profound leaders that were modeling vulnerability and humility in a way where they were engaging at eye level with young people and empowering the voice of young people to rise. And so that when they were faced with an opportunity to then go and speak to an elected official, then they were like, my voice matters. And I don't have to be defined by any of the pain of the past. I have purpose moving forward in this. 